This is the lesson video for lesson 18 found in the Maricol Piano Method level one, which encompasses pages 147 to 150. Here we're going to start off with a worksheet here, which we'll go through together. Um, you feel free to pause the video now to fill out the worksheet on your own, or you could fill it out as we go along together here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen. We're going to grab a blue pen here. Um, we're going to start off with number one. So number one, this right here, the three-sided box is a brace mark or a pedal mark. It is a pedal mark. There we go. Number two, the right pedal is named the damper pedal, yes or no. So for the book, we're going to put yes. Sometimes it is also called the sustain. So your teacher may call it the sustain pedal. But sustain and damper pedal are the same, um, same words there, essentially. Number three, a pedal mark tells you to push the right pedal down with your right foot. Do you see pedal marks in Elisa? So I'll go ahead and tell you, yes, there are pedal marks in Elisa. And we'll go over those in the song video, which will be linked in the description below. Number four, this little staff right there is a tie hold. Yes, it is. And then equals how many beats? So we've got a dotted half note, which is equals three beats, and then a half note, which is equal to two beats. So that equals five beats in three, four time. Number five, we're going to be writing the counts down below the following notes here. So remember, once we get past the bar lines, so right there and right there, we're going to start over with our counting. So three, four is our time signature. That means we have the space of three quarter notes in each measure. So number one, we're going to start off with a half note here. I'm going to write one dash two to let me know that that's uh, one note that's going to be over two beats. And then three and next. So we're going to start our counting over again. We have one. And then since this is on beat two, I'm actually going to write two dash three to let me know that that's going to be played over beats two and three. Last but not least, we've got a one dash two dash three, since that's our dotted half note. So one note over three beats. Number six here, draw a note that equals the given counts. A quarter note equals one beat. So we're going to be drawing some notes here, okay? So the quarter note filled in circle on the stick. One, two, three, four, that's the whole note. So that's just a donut. We're gonna draw yourself a circle. The one plus or the one and. I'm gonna draw two circles here and then draw a three-sided box connecting them kind of like that. Uh, one, two, three. Half dotted half note, so circle, stick, and dot, just like that. And then one to the half note, circle, and stick. There we go. And then we're back to the quarter note here, one beat, so filled in circle, stick. And there you go. So feel free to pause the video right there if you need to catch up on the worksheet. Um, otherwise, we're going to go ahead and clear it and then move on. Next in the lesson is going to be the um, song, My Daughter Elisa, or it might be pronounced Elisa, I might be mispronouncing that. Uh, there's your pedal mark right there in the first four measures. And then you have it again there in measures 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll discuss that in the, in the song video. Then we're gonna end the lesson here with a mystery message, okay? So remember mystery messages, we're gonna use the notes that we've learned so far and fill in some words here, so. We're going to start off with the E. Next is A. Then we have E again. And then a B, E, and then A, and then F, and then another F, and then an E, another F. And another E. There's a lot of F's and E's in there. All right, second line. We have E. Oh, that's an E. That's a sideways E. <laughs> uh, another E. And then an A. And then a G. And then another E right there. And then that completes the second row. So let's go ahead and move on down to the last row here. So another A. F. And then E, and then we have another E, and we have another E, lots of E's here, G, and then E again. All right, so all together we read Elisa, or Elisa, loves beautiful fresh flowers. 
She loves to walk through them hour after hour, even in the spring showers. So that's going to conclude lesson 19 or lesson 18, excuse me, in the Marin Cole Piano Method book. Feel free to rewind and review any materials that you'd like to go over. But that is the end of the video there.